you welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve the problem that is displayed on the screen and the question goes like this it says construct an archimedean spiral for one convolution the greatest and the least radii are 80 millimeter and 20 millimeter respectively right so this is what we are to do the first thing you do since you want to construct an archimedean spiral is for you to draw your vertical line this way faint line first of all you can see that and also draw your horizontal line this way so the reason why you are doing that is because you want to get the pole which is the center point where the two line meets now the next thing is we are told that the greatest and the smaller radius is what 80 and 20 so you take the highest point there you from this center here you call it point o right that is the pole and the greatest radar is 80 millimeter you from the center here you measure 80 millimeter from 0 to 8 right let me call that point reward a and the smaller radar is 20 so 0 to to this that is what that is 2 20 so i'll call that point point what point b is that okay now what i will simply do is i will take my compass place it from the center point i'll take it to b right and i can easily draw the circle if i want to i represent that for b hope you can see that and i'll go to a i'll do the same thing and i'll do this this way Hope you can see that. Right, so let me break it down a little bit. So I can easily extend this to touch the circumference of the circle this way. And this is what we have here. Now there's something I wanted to understand. You are going to divide the circle into equal parts. You can decide to divide it into 8, you can decide to divide it into 12, you can decide to divide it into 24 depending on you and how fast you want to um, get to the end result. So for this video, I'll be dividing this into what? Into 8, right? And for you to divide into 8, it's better you use your 45 degrees set square, you place it on your T square this way, and you move it, then you draw this this way you can see that and you move it and you draw this this way so what we have we can start from here and start naming this is into already it this will be one this here is two here is three here is four here is five here is six here is seven then we have what eight right so eight and zero are on the same point so zero one two back to work to eight is that okay now so we are going in a clockwise manner now the next thing is you are going to divide between b and a into what into the amount of division of the circle so if i have divided the circle into 12 i'm going to divide a and b into 12. If I divide the circle into 24, I'll divide A and B to 24, right? If I was not given the shortest red die, let's say I was given that uh, the diameter of the circle of the Archimedes spiral is given as what? 80. That means I'll be dividing from 0 to A. But the reason why I'm starting from B here was because I'm giving shortest and greatest red die. That's why I'm starting from in between both of them. Is that okay now? So I will be dividing this and this, but if the shortest radar is not there, I will start from the pool A and divide. So let's move. So what's the distance here? If you remove, um, if from here is yes, yes, 80, 
right then let's see from 0 to 6 is 60 and I can I divide 60 into it so there are different ways you can do that so I'll easily use my line division method in order to achieve this height right so what I'll do is I'll take my meter root this way and I'll just draw a line like this can you see that at any given radius and I'll take my compass and I'm going to mark that into it so from here I can mark this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 you can see that so I'll take the first point and the, the, the last point and the last point here I'll join them together in this fashion can you see that paint line first so once I've done that I'll take another instrument which is maybe my ruler or any other vertical instrument and I'll place it at this edge here I can't place it here because I'll be drawing through here right so I'll start moving it this way to the next point right I'll draw to the next point I'll draw to the next point I'm going to draw to the next point I'll draw to the next point I'll draw to the next point I'll draw and to the next point I am going to what draw so this is what we have using your line division and if you don't really get what I did here you can click on this link yet in order to what see how you can use your you can divide lines into proportion or into different sections so now i will just start with this is that okay so we can now start this will be zero right or starting from here zero here will be one point two point three four five six seven then what eight is that okay so the first point is meeting zero and I'll come here I'll go to the second point which is what one right so where one I'll draw uh, the arc this way so one is meeting one here can you see that I'll go to two I'll do the same thing two this is point one, this is point two. I'll come to three where two where one meets one, where two meets two, then I'll come to three from this point where three meet three. This is the line of three meeting three. I'll come to four. Where four meet four. Can you see that? Then I'll come to 5. This is 4 mid 4. Let me just mark it out. Then I'll come to 5. We have 5 mid 5. I'll come to 6. Where six meet six, I'll come to seven. Where seven meet seven, then the last but not the least eight, which is what we have here. Point eight already at the last circle, and this is my point eight. So all these points, I am going to join them together. With the help of what my French curve starting from point B here, which is zero here, right? So if I should join that with the help of my French curve, so this is what we have here. This is the Archimedes parallel. When they say one convolution means you start from zero, you go and end back at zero. That is one convolution. Is that okay now? Now, in most cases, depending on how you want to, if you remember, if you divide it into 12, this must be what into 12. 
Now sometimes you might be told to uh, get the normal and the tangent. So in order to get the normal, what you should simply do here is to subtract the highest and the lowest radii, right? Then when you do that, you're having 60. 80 minus 20 is 60 divided by 2 pi. I will together now. So that will give us 9.6, approximately 10. So I can simply take the 10, right? Let's see. That is and that will be. I'll take the 10 this way. 2 from 0 to 10. And I'll place it here. It was made to 10, right? And I'm going to draw a circle this way. So that circle, I'm going to draw a line from that circle that will be tangential. If I start from here to be at any point of the circle here, right? I'll make it be tangential. Then I'll just draw my line this way. Or better still, yes, because this angle is 45. So I'll just make it tangential to any point on the circle this way. All together, if I do that, we are having that, right? And you will ensure that that's this way. Can you see that? Then this is coming like this. So why am I doing this? So that this must form 90 degree to this. Can you see that? At this angle here. So where it meets here, this line that we need, let me show you. This line will be forming my normal. Right, and to get the tangent, just ensure that uh, uh, this line here, just place any of this line, probably you can use any of maybe point zero, and you ensure zero is on the same, is aligning with this line, when I place it this way, can you see that? Zero is there. And I'll just draw a line this way. And that is the tangent. Right? So this is our normal and these are the tangents. So this is got into as you can see on the screen. So if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.